Our problem, which soda will produce the biggest explosion when mixed with Mentos? Why do Mentos mixed with soda produce a incredible eruption? As you probably know, soda pop is basically sugar or diet sweetener, flavoring, water, and preservatives. The thing that makes soda bubbly is invisible carbon dioxide gas which is pumped into bottles. Until you open the bottle and pour a glass of soda, the gas mostly stays suspended in the liquid and cannot expand to form more bubbles, which gases naturally do. Many scientists claim that the Mentos phenomenon is a physical reaction, not a chemical one. When you drop the Mentos into the soda, the gelatin and the dissolving candy break the surface tension. This disrupts the water mesh so that it takes less work to expand and form new bubbles. Each Mentos candy has thousands of tiny pores all over the surface. These tiny pores are called nucleation sites, perfect places for carbon dioxide bubbles to form. As soon as the Mentos hit the soda, bubbles form all over the surface of the candy. Couple this with the fact that the Mentos candies are heavy and sink to the bottom of the bottle and you've got a double whammy. When all this gas is released, it literally pushes all of the liquid up and out of the bottle in an incredible soda blast. Why should you use diet sodas? The simple answer is that diet soda just works better than regular soda. Some people speculate that it has something to do with the artificial sweetener. Our hypothesis, if we mix Diet Coke with Mentos, then it will create the largest geyser. Materials, one, 20 mint Mentos, two, one, two liter Diet Coke, three, one, two liter Coca-Cola, four, one, two liter Sprite Zero, five, one, two liter Diet Dr. Pepper, and six, one, two liter of Shreps Ginger Ale. Procedures 1. Open up all the 2 liter bottles and Mentos packages. 2. Hold 4 Mentos above one bottle and then let go. Back away and wait until the explosion dies down. 3. Measure the height of the liquid left inside and record. 4. Repeat steps 2 and 3 for the rest. The Fresh Fresh Maker. In conclusion, we have discovered that if we use diet soda, we are able to have a better soda geyser height than using regular non-diet soda. Our hypothesis was right. If we mix diet coke with mentos, then we will create the largest geyser. Although our experiment was successful, factors could have been changed. One was experimenting indoors to avoid wind, which might affect the geyser height. Another change that could have been done was actually measure the height of the geyser and not what was left behind in the bottle.